أناب حضرة صاحب الجلالة ملك البلاد المعظم حفظه الله ورعاه سمو الشيخ علي بن عيسى الخليفة وزير شؤون الديوان الملكي لحضور مهرجان كأس جلالة الملك المعظم لسباق الخيل والذي نظمه نادي راشد الفروسية وسباق الخيل هذا اليوم على مضمار سباق نادي راشد الفروسية وسباق الخيل بمنطقة الرفة بالصخير وحضر السباق سمو الشيخ ناصر بن حمد آل خليفة ممثل جلالة الملك للأعمال الإنسانية وشؤون الشباب وسمو الشيخ عيسى بن سلمان بن حمد آل خليفة رئيس الهيئة العليا لنادي راشد للفروسية وسباق الخيل وسمو الشيخ فيصل بن راشد آل خليفة نائب رئيس المجلس الأعلى للبيئة نائب رئيس الهيئة العليا لنادي راشد للفروسية وسباق الخيل وقام سمو الشيخ علي بن عيسى الخليفة بتتويج الفائزين بكؤوس جلالة الملك المعظم حيث قدم سموه كأس جلالة الملك للجياد العربية إلى سمو الشيخ محمد بن ناصر بن حمد آل خليفة وسمو الشيخ حمدان بن ناصر بن حمد آل خليفة ثم قدم سموه كأس جلالة الملك للجياد المستوردة إلى أحفاد صاحب السمو الشيخ محمد بن راشد آل مكتوم سمو الشيخ محمد بن ناصر بن حمد آل خليفة وسمو الشيخ حمدان بن ناصر بن حمد آل خليفة كما قدم سمو الشيخ علي بن عيسى آل خليفة كأس جلالة الملك للإنتاج المحلي إلى المضمر الفائز فوزيناس كما قدم سموه كأس الميثاق إلى سمو الشيخ عيسى بن سلمان بن حمد آل خليفة فيما قدمت السيدة مها مفيز رئيس مجلس إدارة شركة مزاد الرئيس التنفيذي لصندوق العمل تمكين كأس شركة مزاد إلى الفارس الفائز جيرالد موس فيما قام الشيخ سلمان بن راشد آل خليفة المدير التنفيذي للشؤون التنظيمية بنادي راشد للفروسية وسباق الخيل بتقديم كأس الرفة إلى سمو الشيخ سلطان الدين بن محمد بن سلمان آل خليفة فيما قام السيد يوسف بحجي المدير التنفيذي للعمليات بنادي راشد للفروسية وسباق الخيل بتقديم كأس نادي راشد للفروسية وسباق الخيل إلى المضمر الفائز حيدر إبراهيم ثم قدم السيد جاسون سينغ مدير التسويق بشركة تترسل كأس تترسل سبرنت إلى المضمر الفائز ألين سميث هذا وقد اشتمل السباق على ثمانية أشواط second position but parked out Kohele no Mzurea Neil Callan tracks the leaders with Krushan purple cap to the outer Kohele Nafas 1708 is tucked in behind uh, the pace setters followed by Kohele Al Adiat and then Kohele Nafas 1695 and as they turn in Ubeyan is last of all they're about to face the final 400 and it's Musanan who's trying to regain the advantage now from the driven along Al Managi here comes Kohele no Mzurea Kohelan Umzurea, Neil Callum presses the button, hits the front as they head down to the last 200 metres. To the outside is Kohelan Afas, 1708. Obeyan coming home really well. Yellow cap to the far running rail. And they're inside the final 200. It's Kohelan Umzurea stretching away. And the champion is in front here. He's going to be crown champion again. Kohelan Umzurea rules the Arabian bread tree in Bahrain. It is Kohelan Umzurea the winner. Second, Kohelan Afas. 1708, third of Bayan and fourth Kahalat Al Adiat.
Lewis and they're racing. A deep intrigue, forgot to set the alarm and lost a few lengths early and away smartly. Modern news and down the centre, buffer zone is well to the fore and also running prominently. Deep intrigue now working his way forward to the wide outside, further back to Mace. Byline and Gerald Mosse in front by about a length. It's their day today. Alan Smith, Ali Adia, racing and Gerald Mosse. Byline rules the roost. Second place ecosystem, deep entry across the line uh, with Goume and then further back to Maystar. So it is Byline who has taken it. Byline has a one. in the King's Cup and a little slow to go was withering and smartly into stride encouraged as a short hop to the first turn Valyrian Steel is racing prominently what a welcome first ruler Massaman Gomon and Zagato are just in behind the pace setters as they negotiate the first bend uh, one who's not really settling in midfield is recovery run looking towards the rear division Towerek is in that group with passion and glory running off the pace Ray and Poor is further back and the Kovex kid is the that marker they go on down the side of the track and the running is being made by encourage this horse leads by about two lengths being followed in second by valerian steel massaman third what a welcome is next being chased by withering recovery run now stepping forward first ruler gomon and zagato are all in mid pack as they approach the turn at the 1600 classical wave passion and gloria further back and they're being chased on down the far side by tower and then comes up along the inside of Ray and Poor and the back mark of the Kovex kid. Inside the final 1400 they move and it's Jimmy Quinn and Valerian Steel the leader. Leads by around two lengths, so followed by Encourage and then Massa Man, what a welcome first ruler, recovery run and then up along the inside is Withering, chased by Gomon who's three, wide Zagato is buried in mid-pack with classical wave to the inside, Danny Tudop has switched off passion and glory as they leave the back, Tower Wreck has only got a handful behind, and they include Ray and Paul and the Kovex Kid. Running inside the final 800, and Valerian Steel has got about two and a half lengths on this field. Encourage is in second place, what a welcome, Yellow Jacket, a massive man working hard, recovery run, stepping forward. First Ruler is in behind the leading bunch, Gomon now is being pushed along to the right, Passion and Glory is coming there sweetly as they head down towards the last four. 400. Lots of moves around the track over on the far side. First ruler down the outside. Passion and glory. What a welcome recovery run. And they're being chased home by Encourage. And it's the God Dolphin pair now inside the last 200. Passion and glory versus first ruler. Passion and glory at the moment holding the upper hand. Edges over to the far running rail. Danny Tudo and Passion and glory from first ruler to Dolphin. 1 2. Back in third place, uh, running on nicely was Towerek again, followed by the Kovex kid. So it is a Godolphin one to passion and glory. They're racing and Bint Al Jazeera began smartly for Neil Callan down the centre. Battle of Talas prominent, Al Tariq on the wide outside as they go on towards the turn. First bend, really competitive stuff around the first corner and it's Horatio nipping up the inside. From stall one, Horatio has got the lead. Bint Al Jazeera second, Aslam black and white jacket to the inside. Al Tariq and Manama Girl follow, then comes 
epic and the battle of talus is next sinjar is off the pace and the bat marker is tariq they go down the side of their course with 2000 meters still to go and horatio's got about five lengths clear bint al jazeera and aslan dispute second place manima girl is in a line of three for fourth position manima girls on the inside of al tariq and sinjar battle of talis and epic are next and tariq is wagging the tail of this field as they move on inside the final 1600 going on down the far side is still horatio the leader horatio by almost two lengths second place bint al jazeera half a length to aslan on the inside as about a length to sinjar who just shades al tariq half a length then to manima girl who's three parts of a length up on Battle of Talis, then comes Epic, and the back marker is Tariq. They may have slowed things down a fraction as they enter the back straight. They continue their run down the far side inside the last 1200, and it is Horatio the leader in second place. Bint Al Jazeera, then Manima Girl, Al Tariq, Sinjar in the grey jacket, noseband is widest of all as they move towards the end of the back straight. And it's here that Bint Al Jazeera claims the advantage from Al Tariq, Sinjar, Manima Girl, Epic in the green and blue is on the move. Back Battle of Talis within striking distance. Tariq is next. Aslan has lost ground. And Horatio is now right at the back as they approach the final bend. Entering the final 600. And it's Bint Al Jazeera in front. But Al Tariq steps forward. And it's half a length down. Manima Girl is next. Epic is just in behind. And then Sinjar to the right. Battle of Talis tries to come on well for Gerald Mosley. But now hangs under pressure. They run inside the final 400 metres. Here is Epic to the outside to lay down a big run now. Epic from Al Tariq Bint Al Jazeera and the Philly Manima girls just in behind them. They head down inside the final 200 and it is Epic from Al Tariq on the wide outside. Manima girl is trying to come on well. It is Epic finding plenty in front and they go close home. Epic by about a length. It is Epic at the end of an Epic finish. Epic the winner. Second place, probably just Al Tariq from Manima girl just in behind them. Bint Al Jazeera crossed the line alongside Battle of Talis. So it is epic today, today. Epic.